I'm here in Seal Beach, Wayona Creek was just blown away. There's a lot of debris of the vegetative kind coming down, which adds to the, the mass and the weight, and it blew away and broke that boom in uh, Wayona. We'll go up and take a look along the shoreline there in a bit. But we're down here in Long Beach, and I went over to the Long Beach boom, and I checked that out. And uh, they have a trash boom there and a device to uh, take out the material. And uh, they were hard at it this morning, starting up at 8 o'clock. So uh, it's been uh, a pretty interesting day so far. We have a lot of debris going out to sea. And we're going to be traveling around Los Angeles here and uh, taking a look here and there and uh, seeing the effects of this storm, which is the first flush of uh, the fall of 2009. Here's a, check this out. Talk about a trash island. Over here we have a tree. You can see the uprooted vegetation from the first runoff that usually occurs. Lumber and lots of plastic. Okay, something really important to consider is the 
yellows and the reds of plastic should be removed from the debris field because when it breaks down out in the ocean and all the plastics land up on the beach, there is no reds and yellows. And researchers consider that because of the color, it mimics the food sources for the birds, the sea turtles, and the fishes. Hey, look what I found. Red plastic, gas container. Perfect, I need one. So I'm gonna recycle this and use it. Well, we haul off the trash to the recyclable place. We pull out the balls for the kids that lose them and we return it to the schools. Venice Beach and you can see this one's a trash. All that material that was supposed to be sequestered at Bayona Creek has gone out to sea and now it's going back on the beaches. 